I'm pissed off, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. There's no other way to start this podcast than to put it all out there. I'm pissed off. End of story. Now, why I'm pissed off, we'll get into that. But let me do a proper introduction here. Driving with Randy. My name's Road Rage Randy. This is Driving with Randy. I appreciate you all riding passenger here with me today. If you've rode passenger before, you know what to expect. Some quality podcasting with a terrible mic and a terrible idea. You you know the drill. If you're new, I welcome you to the passenger seat. This is episode 14. We're doing well. We're doing well. We're coming up with new ideas and progressing our podcast. We're going to be up to episode 100 in no time. Thank you all for tuning in today. Now let's get off to the to, to, to why I'm angry. Why is Road Rage Randy pissed off? He he just started driving. No no asshole cut me off yet. No one's going 10 miles an hour in a 40. Which is which is actually kind of funny because I, I I'll tell a story about that later. Something that happened today about going pretty much 10 miles an hour in a 40. But it, no, yeah, there, I mean there's there's nothing laying in the road. Why is Road Rage Randy pissed off today? Very simple, ladies and gentlemen. When I went on my trip to Atlanta, one week out from when I was leaving, my finger got infected. And, you know, a finger infection. They, if you've never had one, they sting. They, they have, I've had three in my life, all right? So what, why, what does this have to do with anything? Well, I got two trips planned here coming up in the next couple of weeks. I, I, nothing this weekend, and then the next two weekends after that, I, I'm hitting the road. I'm hitting the road, baby. We just kind of ran a red light, but that intersection is so fucking long, ain't nobody got time to wait for that. I mean, if it's yellow, we're going, and it turned red, but it's, it, it's, it, it happens. Anyways, my, my, my finger, I have a finger infection, again, right before I'm leaving for two trips. I, I'm pissed off, because you know why? You know how irritating it is? So, n- not only everything I do does it hurt, like, a lot, because my finger's infected, but in order to get this thing cured, if my body's not going to do it by itself, you know what I have to go through? I have to go to the freaking doctor's office. So I've been to the doctor's office four times, and it isn't even, like, halfway through the year. I'm irritated, because all it is is I show up, the doctor looks at my finger and is like, "Oh yeah, you need uh, you need antibiotics, sir." Like no shit. I have been through this before. Just why can't I show up to the pharma the, the pharmacy at the place I go? Death and taxes. One doesn't need to happen today. Neither need to happen today. Fuck that sign. Anyways, I just you can tell I'm angry right now. So I, I, I roll up, I should be able to roll up to the pharmacy, show them my middle finger, flick them off, check out this infected finger, stupid fuck. And you know what? They should be able to give me an antibiotic to get it fixed. But no, I have to go to the doctor's office. And you know how the doctor's office works, right? You go in at 8 a.m. Oh, I got an 8 a.m. appointment. You know what that means? I should be seen at 8 freaking a.m. No, no, that's not how it works. You know what you have to do? You show up at 8 o'clock. You get called in maybe at 8.20 if you're lucky. So you're already 20 minutes throughout your day. And then the nurse asks you stupid questions. That the, It's the same questions the doctor's going to ask you. So then you go, you, the nurse, you answer the questions one time already. And now you got this idiot. Oh, my God, this this guy just went around me. He's irritated. I'm going the speed limit, right? I'm not even going the speed limit. I'm going over the speed limit. And he merges 
over, and then he decides to use his blinker. One idiot. Ha, now he's stuck behind another slow car. Woo! Anyways, so the nurse asks you questions. Yeah, answer the questions. And then the doctor comes in, asks you the same freaking questions. What is the point? I don't know. Maybe, maybe so you're not like lying about what you're being seen for. I don't know what it is. But so, so you're you're already two people in to get this uh, this prescription that you should have been able to just walk in somewhere and get your antibiotics. Who the hell is popping antibiotics for no reason? No one. There, like. Well, you can't get high off an antibiotic. Why would anyone in their right mind abuse an antibiotic? That's why I'm like, you should just be able to show up over the counter, bada boom, bing, my finger's fixed. But no, I have to go to the freaking doctor first to get permission to use something that's going to fix my finger. So I've only had it for two days now. I like to, I mean, in reality, I just want it gone, so I'm probably just going to make an appointment. I was going to try and make it to the end of the week, but having pain on your finger and everything you do is just exactly that. It, it's a pain. It, it doesn't feel good, and given that I'm using my fing- or using my hands all day with uh, work, I, I think it's best that um, I just go ahead and get, get right to the doctor and uh, get this nonsense taken care of. Maybe I will have to leave my, I I don't have cards, but imagine I get driving with Randy cards and I I, I just give one to the doctor like, yo, dude, check out this podcast. I think episode 14 is something you will very much appreciate, sir. Oh, you imagine that? That would be something, that'd be something that, the driving road rage randy's doctor listening to my podcast that would be that would be great so i'm gonna go ahead and talk about you know maybe something will come to my ooh the the stadium is lit up uh blue today so so a- alliance a- alliance alliance stadium something like that I said Alliance Stadium to my brother, and he laughed at me. So I think I think it's like Aliens, something like that. But uh, that's the new professional soccer stadium. It looks beautiful when it's lit up at night. They they like turn it blue or some. Someone was in my car because they turned the air on. I don't do air. If I'm gonna need air, I roll down the windows. That's that's how that works. It's gonna have to be a little different this summer though if I'm podcasting I'm gonna have to maybe use the air because you're gonna get all that wind noise but maybe we'll be upgrading mics by then um we'll see we'll see um anyways this story about uh yeah this is another inline skating story so if you're not into inline skating I'm sorry but it's kind of it's kind of funny so I I got I got some new compression pants oh baby those things are absolutely great. Like, wow, I, I love them. It's so I tried them out. Sorry, I'm gonna get a drink here. I've been that that rage session about the doctors. It got my mouth a little dry. So, I got these compression pants. Right, my first ride with them, I take them out on a 30 degree day. Uh, th- these are stylish, man. They're not just like plain black. I got black camouflage, so it's like black and some grays and whatnot. It looks pretty cool. And then it was a two-pack, so I got red ones with it. And you know what? I, my whole Amazon order, so it, it ended up being $24.99, and you get free shipping with $25. So what, what would I do? What would the standard citizen do? They'd try and find something worth a penny, right? I couldn't find anything worth a penny. But what I did find was coconut water hand soap or some some crap like that for a dollar sixty-seven or something. So I pretty much I paid an extra dollar so that I could get free shipping. Because otherwise the shipping would have been seven dollars. So I look at it as I paid a dollar sixty-seven or whatever it was to get my ship in. 
So I have some hand soap that I'm not going to use that. I'm not a fan of coconut, mango, water, whatever it is. I like the foam soap anyway. This is the liquidy stuff that just... If you're not using foam soap in 2019, I don't know what the hell you're doing. Anyways, we're going to continue this story about uh, my compression pants, right? So I get compression pants. I didn't know what to expect. I kind of think, you know what, maybe there'll be a little feminine because, you know, women are always wearing yoga pants around and whatnot. I totally get it. Like, besides the fact that you want to flaunt your giant ass off to all the dudes out there, like, they are comfortable. Oh, my goodness. So I test these puppies out in 30-degree weather, right? Maybe 32, 8 a.m. I wake up at 8 a.m. just so I can uh, go for a nice ride because I like waking up nice and early. And then nothing gets me started a day like a good long ride. So I go on this ride. I'm going to go 12 and a half miles. And I want to mentally kill myself. I, I love doing things like that. Things where I can just mentally slaughter myself and just make myself a better person. So normally on these long rides, I always have headphones with and music. No, oh, oh, not today, buddy. We, no headphones. We, we just threw them headphones. We left them at home. We are in it for mentally killing just me, my thoughts, and the open road. In my God, I love it. Like you can hear your skates going, every car. You can hear everything around you, cars coming. It's great. I mean, music certainly has that place, you know. You're on a sprint, you need to dive deep. You get that you get that song playing and you just you get in that zone. Um I once watched a video on um we're gonna deter right now. I mean it's just that's driving away Randy, but we, I watched this video one time about the vibrations that music sends. It's like it, they had sand on some kind of a thing that would vibrate to the music, right? And it made all these certain shapes. And I believe that when you listen to music, you, your body gets sent all these kind of the, these these shapes. Like it rearranges your molecules or something. I, I'm not a scientist, so don't quote me on that. But what the, I, I feel like that's how we enjoy music. You find that certain vibration that just gives you the shivers. It's, it's the vibration going through you. So anyways, I'm mentally killing myself. I'm going to do 12 and a half miles. 12 and a half was my daily once I got fit. Um, last year, once I was in that fit zone, 12 and a half was the daily thing. So I'm all set for it. I'm like 12 and a half. This would be easy peasy. No music, just me, the road, and my thoughts. I get, I want to say it's, it's, I want to say it was six and a half miles in. You know what? The freaking road's closed. They have a bridge closed because they found some, so, some structural integrity issue or some bull crap like that. So they closed down the bridge. How am I supposed to get across now? The only other way to get across would be, A, I could ignore the signs and be a badass, but... We're, we're not about that life. I, I like to at least obey the laws for the most part when I'm roller skating. Except I, I did start a movement called uh, We Yield at Stop Signs. We're kind of all about yielding at stop signs because who wants to do stop and starts on your roller? But just, just, we yield at stop signs. That's that's how we roll. Anyways, um, continuing on. Um, so I get to this road. And the only other way would be A, ignore the sign. Or B go on the highway which I can't do that I can't I can't go on the highway so we had to take option C which was turn around and I had this all planned out beforehand all right this was completely planned out it's my first 12 and a half -er of the season yeah it was it so I, I had done a 10 previously but this was my first 12 and a half -er. I just I, I want to make it as easy as possible easy on myself so I, I know which way to go. The, the long strip is kind of with some cornfields. So these cornfields, they bring a lot of wind in. Like there's nothing protecting me from the wind. And it was a windy day. It was pretty windy. By the, by the time I get there, it's going to be 8.30. And by 8.30, the wind's picking up. So I have it all planned out. I'm going to have a tailwind. 
It's going to be nice and breeze. It's going to be easy. I'm going to have a tailwind. If a tailwind is pushing me, I can maintain 18 miles an hour, no problem. With a headwind, I'm looking at 12. So I end up, because this freaking road's closed, I have to turn around. So I turn around, and then me being the idiot that I am, I'm like, you know what? I, if I turn around now, I'm, I'm going to get like 13 miles. Let's try and take a different way. So I go and take a different way, right? It ends up being 14.5 miles, right? 14 and a half miles, um, and that's the longest I had done, which, I mean, I did it, no problem. But I had a freaking headwind, and it was like a 12 mile per hour headwind. It's not fun. All while it's 30 degrees, and I'm wearing my compression pants. They kept me pretty warm. Oh my goodness. Those, the whole point of the story was my compression pants. But my compression pants, whoo, 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 they are amazing. 30 degrees, you feel, oh, you feel the temperature, you feel the wind going through your balls. It was the best feeling I have ever felt. I don't feel like women will uh, quite understand that, that whole thing, but oh, baby, it felt amazing. So I am a big fan of them compression pants. So I went out today, did my compression pants. I, I did a similar route. I just, uh, I went on that long strip, but I only did half of it. So I ended up doing, oh, we did, uh, I, I did, uh, what did I do? I did seven miles today. It was nice and easy. My legs were a little sore from my uh, 11 miler the day before. So we wanted to take it nice and easy. We did a seven miler and I wore my red camouflage compression pants today. Uh, again, I love them. You don't have to worry about wind resistant. You don't have to worry about them blowing in the wind. They just, they conform to your leg and they are comfortable. So Anyways, I was on a long strip. There's a path, but because Minnesota was being Minnesota and we got a bunch of snow, it the the, the there was some water out, and I don't want to ruin my bearings. So I decided I'm just I'm gonna go on the road, which is completely legal. I just I, I normally go on the path. I don't have to worry about the. Um, I, you know, I don't have to worry about it if I'm on the path. But there was a cop car. He, he was looking for speeders, right? And uh, I have a GPS watch. It's a Garmin Vivo Active HR. Use it, track my rides. And one of the settings I always have, so that my interface, the three interfaces I have are distance, um, time it takes, so how long my route is, and then speed. So I I clocked myself at 18 miles an hour when I went by him. And I'm going by this cop that's looking for cars. I see him pointing his radar gun at me. Oh, baby. I, I'm, I'm very curious as to what he clocked me at. Because if I was going, you know, this is, the, this is the whole point of this story. I went on a tangent, man. I started talking about this when I left work and I'm almost home. I went on a tangent. But, um, the whole point of me was talking about this was I was going 18 miles an hour in a 55 mile per hour zone. It, it's, th there is a shoulder, so it's not, I wasn't holding cars up. And typically I, I'm very aware of cars, I'll get over. Most cars are very polite and they'll give me, you're supposed to give riders three feet, I believe. Um, I, I, I don't know the whole, whole thing on that, but I move over when I see pedestrians as being a pedestrian has made me a lot more aware of pedestrians. I check intersections like none other, pedestrians first, cars second, pedestrians third. Pedestrians get the double check at intersections. So. Yeah, 18 and a 55. I didn't get pulled over, didn't get spoken to. And you know I was rocking them red red compression pants, man. I, I went by this runner, she was looking great. I had to flex a little bit, you know, I was, I had a headwind on this road, but I figured, you know what? We will do it for the ladies. So the, the lady was sitting there running, you know, it's just me being me. Boom, I was hit. I, I want to say I was hitting 22-ish with a headwind, 
and ho oh, ho, oh, I was looking fresh in my red compression pants. I know, I know you guys are probably like, Road Rage Running, we need to see you in your compression pants. You know how you can do that? You can follow me on Twitter at Thoughts by Randy. That's my Twitter handle. I'd love to interact with all you fans out there. I would very much so. Please tweet at me. I love to hear from you. Give me your suggestions. Make sure you write a review in iTunes. I check the iTunes reviews. I don't check Google reviews. I don't even know if Google has reviews. But we check iTunes reviews. I check I, I'm good. I, no one's tweeted at me about my podcast, so I can't really say, you know, I'm getting nothing but positivity from my Twitter fans, and I, I haven't got a tweet yet. So make sure you tweet at me. I'd love to interact with you, and stay tuned for another episode. This has been episode 14. I appreciate you guys going in. We had some anger. We had some quality story. This is a personal journal, not comedy. So this this isn't meant to be funny. This is supposed to be a personal journal. That's why we're not in the comedy section. I mean, we have to compete with actual comedians, and I feel like people would just roast me for not being funny. So that's why we're in the personal journal. Thank you guys very much. I'm turning on to my road. God bless you all. Thoughts by Randy on Twitter. Road Rage Randy. Oh, peace.